Inferno is the debut full-length album from Brazilian, uh, I would say, black thrash metal band Speed Killer, and I think we could qualify that subgenre with at least a little bit of death thrash, a little bit of death metal in there too, but very much the 80s style, maybe the formative years of death metal. And I think the interesting thing about Speed Killer is that they, they don't so much embody the Brazilian style of 80s death metal and thrash metal and black metal, but they also reach into the, the obvious influences from German thrash metal. And that makes for a, it's kind of a witching metal album. It kind of has that black thrash feeling, but it also uh, pulls in a little bit more muscle than that would suggest. So there's a little bit extra going on here that is still heavy metal. It's still speed metal and thrash metal in spirit. And there are distinct delineations between that that would uh, lead to a, a record which is uh, not so much punkish, but uh, very much has elements of speed metal thrown in but also has the cutting riff after riff style of late 80s thrash metal and it's very aggressive overall and they they play with that quite a bit so what we'll do is we'll cut to a song here just to get a sense of their sound and then uh, i'll sort of define how i saw this album and how i experienced it <laughs> Well, this is not a technical band in any sense. They're, the, what, what they pull from is a tradition of strong uh, thrash metal riffing, and that has to do with the early works of Creator and Sodom, first and foremost, but also uh, bands like Mutilator and whatnot, who came a little bit later than Sepultura back in the day and had uh, obviously usually very focused and repetitive styles. So if we compare this to an early Disaster album, it's not quite that heavy metal, but if we compare it to a Diabolic Night album, you would you could see there's still some speed metal and heavy metal kicking around in what speed killer do and that's um not necessarily neoclassical guitar playing but if you were a fan of their first ep which came out on edge circle a couple of years ago you'll find that that guitar playing the lead guitarist is still very much the songwriter here and his style is still very much alive on this record the only thing is that it's much more aggressive there's a lot more riffing on here and it's as simple as that it's kind of a riff album it, they do kind of play around with a more sophisticated sound and for me balancing out the kind of barbarity of late 80s death thrash with uh, the more modern takes on uh, the, like new wave of thrash and black thrash ideas, it, it all works out into an album that's entertaining. So I don't think that this is an absolute point of mastery or in any sense, but it is a very strong thrash metal album for people who want, you know, you're willing to dip into the more extreme side of things to get that fix uh, of that style of music these days. So uh, for me, I had a lot of fun listening to this record. I enjoyed the listening experience. Of course, it's a groundbreaking thing. It's not uh, a be all end all in any sense but it is a good uh, solid thrash metal record uh, from a band who I think have worked uh, they've done a really good job of working uh, out their their own sound but also a very classic sound too and uh, it seems like a step up from their initial EP so check that out if you will it released on the 8th a couple of weeks ago and uh, yeah, see if it's your thing uh, go ahead and read the review while you check it out <laughs> Revenge of this disguise This 